Welcome back to Sarimbwana Ecology in Bali and our lovely natural swimming pool. This pool answers two questions. One, can we have a conventional looking chemical free swimming pool? And two, do natural pools really need such a large regeneration area? Apart from the lovely curves, this pool looks and feels quite conventional. It's finished with brushed pebbles and it stays crystal clear. Our regeneration area, or what we refer to as the wetland system, is actually quite small. And this is made possible by the addition of our nifty waterfall system. These two systems running on timers keep our pool water clear and clean all the time. The pool's been running for well over a year now, and as you can see, it's in great condition. It's never given us any trouble, it's been easy to manage, and we feel we've solve the problem of how do you achieve this without great big regeneration areas and how do you keep the water crystal clear not feeling like a fish pond you can swim in. There are no chemicals and no gadgets. The water quality is maintained entirely by natural processes. You can think of this pool as a little ecosystem, complete with beneficial microbes, several fish species and many plants. The tiny fish we introduced provided an extra bonus. If you stay still, you get a free fish spa. We were recently asked if uh, fish poo or kids peeing in the pool makes the water unhealthy, say in case children swallowed some. So we have several answers for that. When we had the water lab tested, the report came back saying it was good enough to drink. And I'm not claiming this is always the case, you'd have to do testing every day, but it's certainly a good indicator. The tiny amounts of fish poo or kid pee is treated or consumed by microbes and plants in the gravel mediums. These natural wastes just become fertilizer the same as they do in nature. The third point I want to raise is let's consider the water in a conventional swimming pool. Is it really safe for kids to swim in and possibly swallow dead water polluted by pool chemicals like chlorine? We believe that, just like a lovely natural stream or creek, unpolluted, well aerated living water is safer for humans than a conventional swimming pool. Now let's just make a quick digression here. If you're into healthy living, it's obviously not just about your swimming pool. If we're concerned about swimming in, a chlor in chlorinated water, we should also be asking ourselves, is it healthy to contaminate our homes with pesticides and the many other top toxic substances commonly found in household products? Should we really be trying to sterilize ourselves and our homes? It's important to remember that humans cannot live without a range of beneficial bacteria in and on us. So advertisers who are selling the idea that their product will kill all bacteria is just so wrong. Our bodies need beneficial bacteria to function, and we need to encounter pathogens to strengthen our immune systems. So keeping ourselves clean is obviously a good idea, but according to health practitioners, trying to sterilize ourselves and everything around us is really not good for us. So a natural pool is a lifestyle choice. If you're trying to eat healthy, get regular exercise and reduce your exposure to toxic chemicals, a natural swimming pool is just another expression of that desire to stay healthy and live a long and active life. As a side benefit, it's also better for the environment. So is it hard to look after? In the same way changing your diet requires a change of habits, so does managing a natural pool. The maintenance is no more difficult than a conventional pool, but it is different. At first, changing your habits requires some focused attention, but once you're used to the new way, it quickly becomes routine and, in this case, a lot more pleasant. We're in the ecotourism business, and commercial properties like ours are always looking for an edge. To stay successful, we have to keep getting better. This natural pool is the Ecolodge's latest offering and it's proving very popular with our guests. 
In these very difficult times, we seem to be doing better than most, and I believe our new pool is one of the reasons we're still open when most accommodation properties in Bali are closed. Cost of maintenance. Cost of routine maintenance has been comparable to a conventional pool. There are no costs for chemicals or pool companies, but at the Ecolodge we pay someone for about half an hour a day to sweep the bottom and clear the skimmer box. The need to do this depends on things like water temperature, the amount of air pollution, the amount of direct sunlight. If you're doing it yourself, it's not difficult or expensive. It just requires creating some new habits with a different headset. After sweeping or occasional scrubbing, dirt and algae in the pool water is quickly captured by the gravel filters. From time to time we flush the gravel filters, and we don't waste that water by the way, we flush it to our koi pond. So instead of trying to kill everything, in a natural pool you'll want to keep it alive. In a conventional pool you're sterilizing it with chemicals because you want to kill harmful bacteria and algae. The resulting water is clear, but it's dead with an accumulation of chemicals. In a natural pool, we want to keep the water alive with aeration and circulation, nurturing beneficial bacteria and discouraging the pathogenic ones. The result is clean, clear and chemical-free water that makes us feel healthier and happier when we swim. The main operational cost is running the pumps, in our case one average size and one very small. The pumps mimic natural flows, moving water through the wetland and waterfall systems as well as the skimmer box. The small pump keeps the water moving most of the time, while the large pump only runs about 10 minutes in every hour. If you're contemplating a natural pool, here's something to consider first. If you're in a hot and sunny area, your pool will need some shade. Warmer water holds less oxygen, making it less suitable for the aerobic organisms we need to keep it clean and healthy. And too much sun will also encourage algae to grow. A shade sail will not only help keep your water healthy and clear, it will also allow you, and especially your kids, to spend hours in your pool without getting sunburned. We've had a lot of interest in the pool, so our company Bali Pro Echo is providing a consulting and design service for new and existing pools, both here in Bali and overseas.